Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. All revealed three powerful forces helping APC with hope to sack Obaseki through court. More evidences emerging. Hello, my wonderful people. Uh, how are you doing today? Compliments of the season. A very big congratulations to you seeing the very end of 2020. 2021 will be a better and a more beautiful, fulfilling year for every one of us. Yes, so we brought you uh, the news uh, with a video of all that happened in court yesterday. And now guess what? Hmm. The people who are helping APC to ensure that Obaseki is sacked and Obaseki goes out of, you know, uh, the position position of being the governor of the state have been revealed. Some of them have been revealed. And it interests you to know that more evidences are coming out. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details with regards to what is going on currently now. Who are these people? Governor Gordon Obaseki is in another round of battle to retain his seat as the opposition party in the state want to do everything possible to get him out of the way through the court system. Hmm. As expected, the election which took place in September 19 is over, but the strategy for the soul of the oil rich state is not over, as the battle alone shifts to another battleground, the court. Why the All Progressive Congress APC, its chieftain and agents are ready with their weapon in their armory to wrestle power in the state, Obaseki is fighting harder to retain his seat after he won the election. As the case of certificate forgery against Obaseki progresses in court, the APC presented two fresh documents as evidences to prove the case against the governor. The documents are a University of Ibadan degree certificate, which belonged to Professor Emmanuel Dele Balogon, and a report by a forensic document examiner, assistant. Superintendent, Superintendent of Police, ASP, Raphael. The two were admitted by the court as evidence against Obaseki as the case against him took serious dimension. Nobody knows how the case will end. APC going on and bringing in more evidence against the governor. Focus of the article is to discuss the three main powerful focus that are helping APC in the hope of sacking Obaseki through the courts and the case, as the case progresses. These forces are very determined to take over the state from Obaseki and the People Democratic Party PDP. One, First four strong weakness are the various strong weaknesses APC has called so far to verify against Obaseki the certificate forgery case. On December the 24, 2020, APC called the first weakness Professor Omoruge Edobo, a professor of law at the University of Ibadan, who testified against Obaseki, a situation where a professor of law in a top university is a witness to testify against a governor in a court. Somebody is definitely uh, working hard. Also, on December 29th, APC presented a degree certificate belonging to Professor Emmanuel Dele and a forensic report of the Assistant Superintendent of Police, ASP, Raphael, as evidence against Obaseki. All these are strong weaknesses and they are that are being used to testify against Obaseki in this case. The document has been admitted by the court. In fact, it appears APC still have more strong evidence to call upon to verify Obaseki's certificate these days as the case gets progresses. Second force APC chieftain member, these are the main people who want to remove Obaseki from office and make the party take over the state at all costs. Here you have former national chairman of APC, Adams Oshomole. When he was still the APC chairman, he was the first person that raised the accusation of certificate forgery against Obaseki and set up committee to investigate it. The committee reported back to him that had rallied on the report disqualified Obaseki from contesting under the 
platform of the APC. Oshomole will help the APC through in this case and supply all the needed information to his party with the hope of sacking Obaseki. Again, Mr. William Edobo is another person to mention. He teamed up with the APC to drag Obaseki to court over the certificate forgery. He will work with the other party APC chieftain and members of the arms by helping the party to win Obaseki in the court case. Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu has been gaggling at up and speaking to people of becoming the governor of a do state since the beginning of this year and even after the election was won by obaseki at the polls he has banked on by powerful forces to win the election but lost the election as we all saw when the people voted for obaseki who came out the winner this was a shock now that this and all has happened he could become the governor thinking he could become the governor of a do state he if Obaseki is sacked through the court, is one person patiently waiting to become the governor of Edo State. He will work with the party, the party chieftain, including Oshomole, Edobo, and other backbones to ensure that Obaseki is sacked from office at all possible to get him into the position he has always dreamt of and always wanted to become the governor of Edo State. Remember, his case disqualifying him from not contesting the election has been dropped by the has been dropped by the court saying uh, it lacks merit because the election is over so he's anxiously waiting to become the governor of a dosti through the cross through the court's process what got his principal Obase, or Shomole into the same position. The stage is set for the battle of, of Obaseki be, retaining his seat as the governor of Edo State. Will Obaseki win? The word is we wait and see. This was the same thing. The anticipation was high during the election when nobody knew Obaseki could win. We wait and see as the day unfolds. So my people, these are the forces behind Governor Gordon Obaseki's uh, certificate uh, case at the moment. We have strong people who are intending to become the governor of the state and doing everything humanly possible to ensure that they take over. So, I mean, it is happening. And then today, again, there is another court case. Remember, the case was adjourned to today. So please stay tuned. We'll be bringing you up to date as the matter unfolds. Remember that at the end of the day, whoever wins this uh, court case, if it's Obaseki, he remains at the governor of the state. If otherwise, if it's a uh, APC, Ize Yamu becomes the governor of the state. Whatever the case may be, remember, at the end of the day, we will know who exactly has won. Keep keep, keep, keep uh, crossing the fingers and stay with us. We'll keep you up to date. God bless you. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. Bye for now.